All right, another video from Mr. Anime World. This one is called Weirdest Powers of Anime Characters. Give it to me. First up, Junichi Asakura. This is DC Da Capo. Can generate sweets from his own body fat. What? I guess that's like a good way to like lose weight. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, okay, making candy off of your own body fat. Next up. Arata Hasuda from Hamatora. He can seduce people with his sweat. <laughs> Only works on men. <laughs> Listen, if he's gay, then that's the best power, power that he'll ever get. But if he's not gay, that is like a curse, huh? That's that's it's both blessing and a fucking curse. Next up, Toru from Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Cleansing saliva that can remove stains and grime. That is actually really nice for just like overall dental health, I guess, right? Next up. And like, I guess you can just spit, right? You can just like, whenever you have to clean the bathroom, right? I, I'm assuming it's just, you know, removing stains and grime. It's basically just fucking bleach. You're just spraying everywhere. Next up. Lena Inverse. Slayers. Has a pigeon summoning spell. I don't think that's too weird. It's like a summon. Next up. Daikaku Miyagi from My Hero. Oh, My Hero Academia. Daikaku's quirks gives him a pair of bull-like horns on his forehead. Okay, but like, is that it? Like, hold up. <laughs> like, it's just aesthetic purposes? Like, he doesn't even have two full horns. He has one horn and the other's a stump. Does the bulls, do the horns do anything? That's his, that's gotta be the most useless. No, that's not the most useless power. Uh, he can still use the horns to like headbutt people and like stab them. But like, damn, that is fucking sad. Next up. Oh, my man has fucking Amazon Prime on Isekai World. <laughs> Tsuyoshi Mukoda, right? Campfire cooking in another world. Great uh, slice of life, chill Isekai anime. I definitely re recommend this one. Net Supermarket allows him to shop online in another world. Yeah, the whole premise of this show is basically broken cook in this primitive world where salt and pepper is like a luxury. So he has like Amazon that he can just access and just buy shit. <laughs> it's pretty good. Next up. Oh shit, it's Jojo. Jojo's Jojo Lion, Ojiro Sasame, can only control people who are physically shorter than Ojiro. <laughs> Wouldn't work with Obi-Wan. Uh, that's a Star Wars reference. So, how tall is he though, right? Cause like, and like, physically shorter. So can you stand on like heels? Can you stand on like stills? Does that count? I don't know, but like, that power sounds funny, but if he's like five foot two, then it's gonna be pretty useless, you know? Next up. Oh wait. Do we want do we okay, do we do we want do we want to read Reinhardt's powers? Ah shit, I don't know about this. Okay, I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna look at chat. You guys are gonna read, and then you're gonna tell me if I can read it. Can I read this or not? People are saying no spoiler for Reinhardt, and other people are saying it's spoiler. What is this fucking mix? Motherfuckers are saying this is the worst thing ever. Motherfuckers are gonna say it's the best thing ever. It's okay? Alright, we read it. Reinhard von Austria. Oh, we know this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the sugar and sodium changes, right? He has a blessing or a divine protection. I don't know which term. Which term is more used? Which term is more used in... Uh, no one said no? Fuck you, no one said no. Literally go up right now. No one said no my ass. Look, I ask. Probably not. It's spoiler. Skip. Probably not. And then motherfuckers like, what do you mean nobody said no? You fucking read in the chat? Is it a divine protection or is it a blessing? What do people refer to in like the light novel? Like the people that's super, super into like uh, ReZero. Is it a divine protection or a blessing? They all refer as divine protection? I don't know. I don't know what to go with. It seems very... In they are the same thing, but there must be a term that like... ReZero sweaty nerds actually use this better, right? We call it DP. <laughs> okay, when you call that shit DP, that does not sound like double... That sounds like double... <laughs> Anyways, he's got a blessing, that's right. Salt and sugar. Next up. No. Oh. <laughs> Dude. His, this is like his nose hair. Just realize that this is not a mustache. This is hair that comes out of his nose. Bo 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 dash bo 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 the bo 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 
He uses his nose hair as a weapon. That's crazy. What if you pull on it? People have probably tried to pull on the nose hair too, or like fucking light it on fire, right? Next up, we got instant death. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, it's the gotcha game guy. Lino can use apology stones to spin the gotcha. Yo, this power was honestly an in instant death. As much as a botched anime adaptation it was due to the pacing, the people's powers were genuinely hilarious and very unique. One of the guys was named Chef. And like, it was so fucked because conceptually you could just, if you treated everything as an ingredient, you could just basically do whatever you wanted reality bend. But this guy, his entire power is like gotcha. He's like, he's got this goddess. No spoilers about the goddess because it changes to something else later. But the goddess like, looks over him and every time he dies, he can use those apology gems to fucking like refresh his stamina. You know how like in Genshin Impact or like other gacha games, you run out of your finite stamina, then you can use the Primo resources to burn it and then like get more stamina to grind the game. <laughs> Basically, you can do that by resurrect yourself. Next up, Hunter Hunter, Knuckle Bine or Mine, APR and IRS. <laughs> IRS, the tax collection people, allows him to share Nen with the opponent. Okay, sure. Out of context. Hunter, Hunter. Oh! I am gonna skip over this one. I, uh, I see ReZero. Nope. I'm skipping over it. Nope. Don't care. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We're gonna let this shit roll over and get to the next character. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. New girls, I don't know. We skipped that shit. And boom. I, Mori, the law of Uiki can make the opponent become fan of glasses. <laughs> there is no way you can make me a fan of glasses. I will always be a glasses hater, bro. I will always do that shit. Next up, Uiharu Kazari from Toru. Oh, Magical Index. Wait, 11D. Dude, 11D <laughs> can maintain the same temperature of everything she touches. What? So like, could you touch the sun? And like the temperature of the sun would go down. I don't know what it means the same temperature. Clearly you have some sort of anchoring reference point. I don't know, but we got Queen's Blade next. Melona. Corrosive breast milk. She hates children, huh? <laughs> Just <laughs> don't let her work at Blizzard? Or actually do that if you want. Never mind. Don't let her work at Blizzard and don't let her raise children. Don't let her sell breast milk either. Next up, Motojiro Kaiji, Bungo Stray Dogs. Immune to bombs in the shape of a lemon. Not regular bombs, just lemon shaped ones. That's so useless. That's so fucking useless. Why? Is there any. Why, why is there lemon shaped bombs? Why is there lemon shaped bombs? Like, why would there ever be lemon shaped bombs? What the fuck? DXT. Oh, Hyodo Issei. Dress break, baby. Yes, it has the ability to just remove clothing, right? But that's the <laughs> dress break is so stupid. And then, like, it's even stupid when you realize that, like, there's a counter to dress break, and it's basically women who are fine with exhibitionism. <laughs> women who are not, like, ashamed of their, like, clothing going away. <laughs> and they're totally fine with it. <laughs> Bro, dress break was fucking stupid, but I love it. Next up, Poco Loco! Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Steel Ball Run. His stand can cheer him up and give him advice. <laughs> Surely that's not the extent of his stand. It's just a cheerleader? It's just like, don't give up? You can do it! You can do it, bro! <laughs> like, it's just like the number one fan. <laughs> Yeah, if Subaru had the stand, that'd be nice, huh? Just emotional support the stand. It's like, you can do it, bro. I believe in you no matter what. All right. <laughs> One Piece. Wapo. This piece of shit, bro. This piece of shit fucking sucks. Hold up. His devil fruit allows him to eat anything such as rocks, right? His jaw basically bites shit down. Next. More JoJo's. Toyohiro Kanedaichi. Diamond is unbreakable. I think that's part three? No, four, four, four. The three is the DO one. Four is like the uh fucking uh what's his name? Kira. Yoshikage Kira guy, right? Five is the mafia. Six is Stone Ocean, which Netflix fucked up. 
Seven is Steel Ball Run, right? And eight is the most recent one, which is still getting adapted in the manga, is the Jojo Lion, I think, right? This stand does not allow him to leave the town. <laughs> I... I mean, I guess... the to I don't know what the tower is, but I guess he just... He, he can't leave. He's just like grounded to one spot forever. Okay. Part 8 is over. Part 9 is currently going. Oh shit, there's even more JoJo's? Okay, okay, okay. What if the tower is destroyed? I don't know. Then I guess he dies too. Nell from Bleach! Can you saliva? I forgot that. I don't remember Nell being able to do that. I just remember Nell being like the token lolly and then later on she transforms into this mill form. But okay. Next. Juraiando from Ino Battle. Dark and dark. Warm flame that does nothing. Warm flame that... It's like lukewarm flame. It's like the most... Like... I mean, he looks strong. Like, he looks like a typical Isekai fucking main character, but like... Warm flame that does nothing. Alright. One Piece. We have... Kelly... F what the fuck are these dudes? Kelly Funk. His devil fruit allows a user to become a jack. <laughs> um, why would you ever become a jacket? Like, I guess it could be nice to like, I don't know, disarm a person by like removing them and turning them into a jacket. But what the fuck is that? Okay. Next, more JoJo's. Cheap trick. This user will die if Lumen Summon looks at his back. <laughs> What? What? It, this is stupid as fuck. So like he can he always has to like ha be like have a wall behind them or like have a fucking ja jacket over it. Like you can never show your back ever. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's, the user will die if someone looks at his back. <laughs> okay. This is just these Jojo powers are more silly than anything. Straight up, right? Like, these powers, I'm sure it's gonna get serious, but like, holy shit, it is just silly as fuck. Next, Sato Kazuma. Steed! Allows him to steal underwear from girls. Well, no. I thought the lore of steel is that Kazuma's inhaled luck is so high that whenever he uses steel, it always gets the panties. But it's not like him... And it takes a lot of luck to get the panties, right? It's not like... He can steal other things if he wanted to, isn't it? I don't know if, if there's actual lore behind steel, but I thought the pantsuit thing was just because of high RNG. Next up! Nana Oba can manipulate bananas. Why? Why would you ever need to manipulate bananas? I guess you could turn the bananas into like strong weapons, right? You could transform the properties of the banana from being a soft fruit to like a hard fucking bullet and each banana could be basically a fucking sniper rifle bullet i don't know i don't know that's that i, I guess you could do that with the bananas next more love wiki kosaki wiki can turn garbage into trees that is actually really op that is actually insane not only can you probably do some sort of hashirama shit but like in terms of just like longevity of the world and sustainability, bro, being able to turn garbage into trees would solve our world right now. Straight up. Like, it is one of the most useful skills to have in the real world, but like in an anime world, I don't know how useful that's gonna be. Next. To Love Ru. Yukirito. His ability allows him to accidentally grow any grow within his. Almost every time he fell. So the cliche. Hold the fuck up. The cliche, the anime cliche of you running into a girl and then them falling on you and your hand being placed in a place. That's just his power. Like, that's just straight up his fucking power. Who would win? Yukirito or... Or, uh... Itsukashido? I mean, I doubt Two Love Ru goes into, like, battle shonen where the main character has those powers, right? I, I, I could see the other girls having that shit, but, like... She, I, you can't compare it. Unless this guy also collects all the girls and absorbs their powers too, but like, yeah, okay. More JoJo's. Josefu Joestar. Oh yeah, I know this one. This is from a clip, right? Secret JoJo's technique. 
Nigeru da yo! Basically running away. Which is actually smart, you know? Like, you should know when to back out, bro. You should, you should know when to run away. Next! Hyodo Ise! The breast translation allows him to- Oh, right, that's right. Dude, this guy... <laughs> he saw- Didn't he literally solve his rival's mom's issues through that? What happened in season 4? I remember the, 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 the booby fucking uh, telepathy. It straight up like can read his opponent's minds if it's like opponent, but can also extend and like solve fucking trauma and shit. Straight up. So like he, ch he gets these powers where like <laughs> he can basically read a girl's minds, but through the booba. And then he can like do all these different therapy sessions and help people out and understand. And also it's useful in combat if the enemies are women. It's ridiculous. I know. Peak DXD though. Peak DXD. That's right. Titties are close to the heart. True. True, brother. <laughs> and that's it for this round of Anime World videos. Please, guys, go give Anime World a like on the video. Check out his channel and sub to him if you haven't. And I will see you on the next one.